Welcome back to NC Engravers, you guys. Tonight we have a pretty interesting build ahead of us. This is something that we have done in the past, but not quite to this extent. We've been adding a couple of different features to this. This is also one of the packages that doesn't quite get as much love. I don't think we've quite spread the word on uh, its availability, its overall uh, uniqueness to the M&P style slide. And we're gonna be doing a Hive build on a 2.0. Now, we do have this listed as a package on the webpage. You can purchase this in several different configurations if you're just looking for the top hive with an optic or you're looking for the, the front three hive sides. But today is kind of the full build, okay? So today we're gonna be doing all of it. We're gonna be doing um, kind of just a little bit more than what we would typically do and that's why we had decided to build a video. So let's kind of discuss that. We're gonna go down through the list. We're gonna give you the overview of what we're trying to do. And as we get over there to the Tormach 770, we start cutting it, you'll start seeing some of these things check off the list. And of course, we'll bring it back and show you what it looks like in the end. We're gonna first start with the optic cut. So we're gonna be doing an optic cut to the rear of the slide. We're gonna remove that factory dovetail. We're gonna be cutting a new Glock style dovetail in the front zone. So that's gonna kind of wrap up this work back here. Of course, we're gonna end up upgrading the front iron sight to work with the Glock. So it's gonna be a nice matching iron set sight to work as a co-witness with the optic itself. Now on the front zone, we're gonna end up doing the hive top cut up here. So we're gonna make sure that we don't come up too close to where our front iron is. We're gonna do the hive here. And, uh, and on the sides, we're gonna do a hive pattern as well. So it kind of works from here to here. We do remove that factory uh, logo that's on the right-hand side and on the left-hand side. We wanna make sure we go ahead and get rid of that. The hive uh, is somewhat of a, a, a matching pattern from top to side, the way in which it overflows from top to side is pretty cool overall. Now, something to take into consideration on the 2.0s, and that is the walls are thinner on the newer guns than they happen to be on the Generation 1 guns, as we all know that. So we have to make sure that we don't cross over that fine line of losing strength but yet we still wanna make sure that we're going to get the overall detail that we're after out of it. So uh, it happens to be one of those uh, unique patterns that we do with cutting holes through the side, cutting holes through the top. Sometimes you'll hear us say we don't offer something because uh, the way in which it works. Uh, you'll kinda of see that a little bit more today that the hive actually stays pretty much on the top, flows over to the side just a little bit, and then the hive on the side stays pretty low on the side to make sure that we still have that strength between the top and the side pattern. So these are the things that we did wanna talk with you guys about. These are the things that we did wanna go over before we do the cut work, kind of give you the understanding of what we're getting into before we actually get into it. So, and then the last but not least, we're going to be doing the Cobra nose. So the Cobra nose is going to be able to uh, allow us to see a little bit of barrel from the left and right hand side, which um, which obviously is always a good upgrade, especially if you're, you're wanting to see more of your barrel. So guys, we're going to set this aside. We have some other work we're going to be doing as well. Oh, you know what? I, I forgot something. I already skipped something. So let's let's bring this back. Uh, one of the other things that we're going to be doing on this, which makes it a little bit more unique than the other Hive builds that we've done, is we're going to be knurling the side. So we're going to be keeping the logo on what's going to be the back left-hand side, and we're going to be working front forward. We're going to knurl this, okay? So down here on this lower ledge, you're going to get to see that diamond pattern. Overall, I think it's, um, I think it's going to be kind of interesting. I think it's definitely something that... Uh, is going to tie in with the rest of the build. So that's something that we, we uh, don't typically do on our hive. So that was one of the last things on here. So let's now move on to the, uh, the barrel. So the barrel itself was also provided to us from the customer. We're going to be knurling the top and we're going to be knurling the ejection side, which is going to be this side. So the knurling is going to tie together. The barrel, the, the uh, lower hand sides of the slide, we're going to add that pattern overall to it to give it a little bit more of a texture-based look. Obviously, you're going to get a little bit more feel off of it. But the idea here is really to tie the pattern in together. So top, ejection side, knurling. This is going to get polished, so we're obviously going to be able to see some nice barrel through not only the hive, but also through the cobra nose at the tip of the slide. So overall, I think that's going to be a really cool design. Guys, let's uh, let's jump over to the Tormach 770. Let's, uh, let's crank out that work. I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of get everything wrapped up, put, put together, polished, cleaned, colored, and uh, let's bring it back. Let's take a look and see exactly how it came out.
guys, let's take a look and see exactly how this came out in the end. We have an absolute ton of cut work on this 2.0. Let's take a moment, let's kind of just do a real quick recap. You guys had seen the work there a moment ago, so we had a lot of CNC work. I just kind of want to show you what it looks like as a whole, together, with the barrel, just kind of all of it. So uh, we ended up doing the hive top, we ended up doing the dovetail, the optic cut. That's gonna pretty much wrap up that top zone, a lot of weight reduction, a lot of open barrel exposure on the top. Of course, we ended up doing the shave side, the hive on the sides, the cobra nose, the lower edged knurling. We have a matching side on this side of course tons and tons of detail on a build like this uh, considering what it comes from like the factory so we happen to have a lot of changes uh, you know really pleased with it overall like I said we're getting that uh, upgraded iron sight setup we're getting the optic setup we're getting uh, you know a lot of weight reduction a lot of detail in there um, really nice being able to co-witness with uh, you know their iron sights with the set of uh, with the uh, Trigicon on their top rear section uh, earth Super cool color. We've been having a lot of requests for the Earth, which is one of our elite colors. It happens to be um, something that we've done on some of the some of the builds in the past. And since we kind of had it here, we uh, we've had a lot of people look at it and say, "What's that color?" We've had a lot of people at the shows just kind of question, haven't seen that one. What is that one? And it is an elite color, so it, ha it happens to stand out a little bit higher. It happens to be a little bit more of a higher wear on that over what would be the H series. So uh, pretty cool there, guys. One of the things you're going to find out is that on the web page we happen to have a lot of colors listed during checkout. So once you add something to the cart pops a box up, check the color you want. What you're gonna find out is that sometimes we happen to have colors that we do on some of the builds, but we don't do them a lot. Um, we do have those colors here. I always tell you guys, if we happen to have a color, there's no extra charge on anything like that. So we would, uh, you know, we would just run it. If we do have to order a color, we charge you exactly what it costs to get the color, which is about $40. So uh, there's no extra expense there. We just go to Seracote's webpage. We order that. We have it shipped to us. Of course, we, we uh, in, in return, bill you for the color that we don't currently have here. But there's always a lot of um, oddball colors that we happen to have that we don't typically stock. So somebody says something like, hey, I need some orange. Of course, we'll order something like hunter orange and in the end we have it here we don't have it listed on the web page because that isn't a typical color that we stock but if you happen to request something that we do have there's not that extra charge for you so definitely reach out to us if you find a color that you like or something that you see and you don't see it on there let us know what you're after we'll see if we can get that or if maybe we already have that let's talk about the barrel a little bit so we ended up doing the knurling on the ejection side we ended up doing the knurling on the top this is a wicked setup for this slide with this barrel i love the way that the Springfield and the M&P barrels polish. They seem to polish better than any of the other ones. I've done a lot of Glocks, I've done a lot of CZs, I've done a lot of oddball stuff, um, some Jericho stuff, you know, some uh, some of just the oddball things that we don't typically see, some of the Taurus stuff that's out there. And the, those two, the Springfields and the, uh, the M&P line, um, the shields are okay, but primarily the M&P line seem to have a uh, just a high quality grade of uh, steel, that they use, they maybe they could even be stainless. That they end up doing the hard coating on the outside. Obviously, nobody wants to buy a gun with a, with a stainless barrel, so they end up having a black barrel. But they polish really, really nice overall. Sorry, we got a lot of moisture here. I'm in North Carolina right now. The humidity still seems to be high for the year. There's nothing I can do about that. Um, but overall, just a really, really nice setup. It's a nice uh, transformation from uh, kind of keeping with what you already have. I mean, you know what I mean. So not sending the barrel out, not getting it gold, not getting it gray or copper, but sticking with something that's a, a more of a natural uh, color. And we, we do that, and I also recommend that because if you were to damage it, if you were to scratch it somehow, it's easy to repair yourself. If you were to damage something like a gold barrel, you know, because everything does wear over time, uh, it has to be stripped and sent back out and redone again. So something like a polished barrel is, is kind of one of those um, self-maintenancing kind of things. Hey, I don't like the look of it. I want to change it. Or hey, I don't, um, I don't want to wait for the turnaround time to get a gold barrel back and we just polish it. And it's something that we do right here in-house. So everything's done, you know, uh, correctly and accordingly. It makes sure everything looks real, real good before it comes out. Really, really nice exposure. There. We're going to go ahead and add the uh, guide ride spring here just to kind of keep the barrel in there from falling out. But guys, you know, just some of the things I want to talk about here for a moment is that um, we have a ton of content on our channel. We put a video out a little while back called like Welcome to NC Engravers. And we changed the, our original video, which talked a little bit about the company, about what we offered. And we decided to just to do a video that really showed a lot of the work. You know, I mean, the work that we perform here kind of speaks for what the company is. Okay, there's, there's no better way of saying that. Um, we don't do a lot of advertising as far as um, 
as far as something goes with like you know Facebook or Instagram or online, uh, we do very few gun shows here in North Carolina. Um, but one of the things that we do is we do YouTube. You know, we wanna we wanna make sure that you guys are getting the content. Wanna make sure that you guys do have the opportunity to see what is offered, get a feel for that. And of course, at the end, just like this, we'll kind of put a full build together and show you what it looks like. This is obviously one of our house optics. That's why we only have one screw in there. But we wanna show you what it looks like. We wanna give you the overall visual of what did we start with and where did we end? You know, when the customer gets their item back, what are they getting? You know, and, and that's why we build things. And that's the reason we built the NC Engravers or the Welcome to NC Engravers video was because there's so many people still joining the channel. In the last two and a half years, uh, we've had a ton of comments, a ton of builds, and we're up to almost, I think, 26,000 subscribers, um, which is a lot considering it's myself and my wife. A lot of people still get that feeling and still feel as though you know, hey, you guys are a big company, you know, is, is Mark really the guy doing the work or is does he have a slew of guys working for him? Guys, this, it's still just me, okay? That's, that's, you know, from time to time, we've have had some people come in and help disassemble, reassemble, things like that. And we are working towards the end game of having a, a handful of people, um, high quality professionals that have been handpicked in order to, to perform the work on your weapons. But right now, it's just me, that's it. Okay, so, you know, it's, it's a misconception because you guys happen to see a lot, especially if you follow us on Instagram, you guys happen to see a ton of posts that we do and you're like, man, you guys stay super busy and you guys are cranking it out. It's not really you guys as much as it is just my wife and myself. I do, re I do uh, reference us as, as we because we are a company. Um, we, do, we do hold a name, which is a business name, so we are we. Um, but as far as the laborers of, you know, the process, it's just me. You know what I mean? So I say that as, as politely as I can. I don't want, you know, to mislead anybody and, and make people think that we're bigger than we are or anything like that. But the idea here is that I always want to have my hands in the quality. I want to make sure that the craftsmanship and the quality of the work never really leaves the business line. Had a lot of companies over the years say, hey, you know, uh, we could get you into a building. We could get you, you know, funding for more machines. We could get you staff. We can get you, you know, in front of the, the right people to, to grow your business. And I'm just not so sure that's what I want. You know, what I do want is to continue doing new projects, evolving existing designs that we've already done, and having the real group follow the channel and the business. You know, and, th and that's what it's all about. It's not about becoming this huge company and selling 10,000 slides a year and not knowing anybody. It's more about selling 50 slides a year and knowing everybody. Okay, so the business is a little bit different than everyone else. Everybody wants to be the Walmart of the business. I just kind of want to be the guy that, hey, you know where I'm at. If you want to get the high quality work, come find me. Um, we are noted for quality. We're not really noted for quantity. You know what I mean? And there's a lot of companies out there. I won't name drop any of them, but there's a lot of companies out there that over the years have decided that, well, we, if we sell this kind of slide or we sell this kind of barrel or we pro promote this way or we do this kind of show in front of these kind of people, then we'll end up being so big that we're going to have to hire 50 people. I don't, I don't really care about that. You know what I mean? And, and someday if we get there, we get there. I mean, that it is what it is. But I'm not the kind of guy that's trying to, you know, you know, so-called grow this tree faster than it should be growing. The idea for me is to make sure it's hands-on. The idea for me is to make sure the quality is still where it needs to be. The customization is still where the customers want it to be. And that's, you know, all I can ask for. I don't care about, you know, coming into work and having 50 people that I have to manage and, and this and that. That means nothing to me. At the end of the day, the quality and the, the passion and love for what I'm doing is where I want to be. And if it happens to be that you're the other guy on the other side of the table wanting something done, you know, that's a bonus for us both because I get to do something that I, I want to do, I enjoy doing, I love doing, and at the end of the day, you enjoy the content, you enjoy the service, you enjoy the communication because that's what we're both after. We're both after a personal experience here. We're not after going to Walmart, picking something off of a shelf, walking to the counter and buying it. Okay, I know there's, I, I know it almost sounds like I'm getting negative here, but guys, we have a lot of people that reach out to us and they're like, well, I can get it done cheaper. I can get it done better. So be it, you know, hey, we, we're not the guy that sells the, the slides that makes 10,000 of them a year and wants you to buy one of our slides so our marketing's better. That doesn't have anything to do with us. I hope, I hope it never has anything to do with us. 
Um, you know, I'm that guy that says, I don't want to get into manufacturing. We get a lot of those guys, do you guys make cover plates for RMRs? No, we don't because there's a thousand companies that make them and I don't see any reason to get into a business and into a market where there's already an abundance of people. Okay, we've this business has always been geared around what can a guy do in a garage by himself and always stay learning and turning out new stuff that the market hasn't already seen. It's never been about, you know, doing something better than anyone else and or, you know, or being more competitive on some sort of a front in order to sell a product. That's just that's just not where it's been. So I want to make sure you guys are still on the same page as me. I want to make sure that my subscribers, my followers, the people that come to see me at the shows do understand that we're different. You know what I mean? Expect to get a text from me late one night saying, hey man, I'm working on something I thought you might be interested in this. If you're one of my repeat customers, because some of those people I do that to. You know, they may have sent me something, they're interested in buying a gun. Hey, you ever worked on one of these? Hey, you ever worked on one of those? And you know, I'll say, no, nah, I haven't really, but when I do, I'll let you know. And out of the blue, two months later, they'll get a text at nine o'clock at night and they'll be like, they probably don't even remember who I am. And, you know, and I send them a message, say, hey man, we finally got one in, this is what it looks like. Uh, you know, let me know if, um, if you're interested in having the work done now that we can give you a little more detail on exactly what, what it is that we do offer for that particular model slide. So, uh, you know, it's a personal relationship between, a, between two individuals on achieving in end goal. So guys, follow the channel. I mean, I guess that's the best way I can say it. Share the content. If you if you like the ability to change things, to modify things, to personalize, customize, and really make something truly yours, we are the place. That's how we got to 26,000 subscribers in two and a half years, because we weren't the guy in the room doing the same thing as everyone else in the room. That's why we got there. So we don't ever want to get off that path. I don't care if y'all just single me out and I'm the one guy or I'm the weird guy or I'm the crazy guy. That's perfectly fine. That doesn't bother me. I'm going to continue doing what I love and what I have passion for and the people that want to follow it, they will. The people that are buying on a budget, they're basically purchasing based off cost. Those aren't really the people that we ever geared towards. That, those, that wasn't the clientele we ever targeted. Um, if you ended up finding us or searching us and you thought that that's who we were and you think that we're negative or we're, you know, unfortunately being mean about it when we say we won't do a project because it's a clone or we don't sell a slides as blank slides or, you know, whatever the case is, you know, I apologize, but the, the, the business has never been in that direction and hopefully will never be that direction ever. Um, yeah, so that's totally about us. Instagram, Facebook, a lot of stuff on there. Feel free to send us a message. We get a lot of people, you wouldn't believe this, that just want to send a message, okay? You don't have to get a hold of me because you want something. You don't have to get a hold of me because you have a question about something. You can actually go to our webpage and send me an email and give me your thoughts on something that we've done just because you want to say it. Hey, I like the work. Hey, I like this. What did you think about that? Hey, have you ever thought about doing one of these guns? You know, I don't have one, but I thought maybe it's something that you wanted to look into. Those comments and things are taken into consideration. When you get an email back, it's either myself or my wife. That's it. The number that's on our webpage is my cell phone. Okay? So it's not like you're going to go through some call center. We're going to route you to, you know, somebody else and they're going to process your order. You're either going to get me or you might get a call back from my wife. But that's it. So talk about, you know, face-to-face -face interaction. There we are. So guys, feel free to share it. Feel free to join in. Feel free to something new we're doing, find us at one of the gun shows. If you find us at one of the gun shows and you, um, you're gonna notice something about us, and I'm sorry, I know we're getting way off track as far as this build, but there's been a lot going on. We, we haven't done as many videos lately. We just need to do a talk about video. But so one of the things that we, I started doing, I wanted to start doing, is that we have 9,000 plus Instagram uh, subscribers. We follow like two people, and one of them is my wife, okay? So um, I decided, there's a guy here out of Charlotte that we've done some work for, and I had just decided out of the blue at the last gun show that if you take a picture with me at a gun show that I'm set up at, I'll follow you back on Instagram. And I know it sounds weird to say that. It's always been a business-related channel, okay? So it's never been, um, it's never been a, a personal channel, you know, as far as Instagram goes and as far as Facebook goes. It's always been just business-related. We posted information. We want you guys to see what we offer. We want you to get a feel for what it is we offer and then reach out to us for what you want to have done. But we decided, you know, hey, the guys that, are, that do want to come out and see us, the guys that want to make a presence, um, why not follow them back? You know what I mean? And, um, you know, that's some, one of the things we're going to start doing. So 
Don't feel odd about it or don't feel weird about it. If you see me at one of the gun shows, say, hey man, I want to get on your Instagram, let's take a picture. I will literally send you onto the other side of the table and we will literally take a picture and I will literally start following you. Um, that's just how you're going to get on. You know, once again, this I wanted this business to always be around a, geared around a, a personalization uh, process and job from an individual to an individual, not from an individual to a company. Right? So that's kind of the way to do it. So guys, enough of this rambling. I know you guys had seen a lot of other pictures in this video. You're probably like, why are there other pictures of other guns in here? This doesn't make any sense. Um, you know, just because we were talking a lot and because there's only so many pictures we can show of this one, we decided to put a couple pictures in of our other ones. If you don't happen to follow us on Instagram, you just don't want to have an account. You don't have Facebook. You don't have an account. Um, a lot of the pictures that you had seen were other bills that we had done over the last, I would say, six months or so. And it was just stuff that we wanted you to see, you know, because we you don't have an account. You're not seeing the other content that we're posting. So we thought we'd throw it in here. We'll give you a little bit more of a feel for what it is that we're doing and um yeah that's kind of why you're going to see a bunch of other pictures to a bunch of other guns in here go and watch the welcome to nc engravers video i will guarantee you if you haven't already seen the video i'll guarantee if you watch that video there's at least 10 projects in there you've never seen before and i say that because some of the stuff never made it to youtube instagram or facebook it was some of the stuff that i pulled my phone out and recorded while we were doing it it sat on my phone i ended up going through that process and kind of just um I kind of just threw it in the video. I wanted to sh show you guys what it was. Some of the stuff's from our old laser that we had. Some of the stuff's from the new laser that we have. Some of the stuff, um, it's just uh, an array, an arrangement of, of just all kinds of weird stuff. Um, so yeah, watch it. You're going to see uh, NFA engravings. We, you know, we do tube engravings. We don't advertise. We don't talk about that on here. People send us tube engravings and we do NFA engravings. Uh, we do coloring on, you know, suppressor tubes. So there's a lot of stuff that is offered um, that you guys just, you have no idea we even offer. So... Really cool video there. I will link it at the end of this video, so feel free to click on it, watch it, um, like it, subscribe it, share it. Uh, kind of one of those things. And uh, we'll just uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. We've got a couple of big shows still coming up here in 2019. Of course, we have a 2019 Build of the Year video still coming up. If you haven't seen 2018's, go back. It was per obviously it was put out in December 31st. Um, so go back and watch it there. But there's a there's a big one coming. So um, that we've already worked on, the guns already been released back, but there's there's a big one coming to uh, coming to the channel. So here in the next 60 days. So um, yeah, we'll see what happens, guys. If you need anything, let me know.